let's explore the selection brushes. Over here in the toolbar, we can look under the magic wand for the selection brush tool, or we can go to our brush selector here, and there's an entire category of selection brushes. We'll start with the default selection brush tool, and this can be a soft edge or a hard edge brush, but basically what we do is we paint, and as we paint, this red paint is defining where our selection is. So if I lift my pen up, that's the selection. And if I fill, let's fill it with a gradient, then that's what I get. Now, of course, if we make our brush bigger, we'll get a bigger selection. If we make it smaller, we'll get a smaller selection. Now, each time I lift my pen up and I paint another mark, the previous selection disappears. I can control that up here in the properties bar and I can have it add to selection. So now I'll keep adding. Or I can subtract from the selection and I can essentially erase from the selection. We'll go ahead and keep it on add. Now I can also use a very light pen pressure to get a faint selection or very heavy pressure to get a very thick opaque selection. And then if I fill with that, you can see the varying levels of opacity. We can also show and hide this red overlay. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on so that I see it at all times. That way it never goes away and I can continue selecting here and building up my selection. We can change the properties for that overlay. So if we want it to be blue, we could have it be blue. We can also control the opacity of it if we want it to be more opaque or more transparent. And we can change the overlay to the selected area, or we can invert it to select outside of the selection. And then here's where we can toggle the visibility of it as well. Now we can also convert selections to shapes if we want to, and we can save these selections to reuse them. I'll hit Control F to fill the selection with black and we can see what it looks like. Let's go ahead and switch to the selection brush category now. And here's where we can get a lot more looks for our selection brushes. Let's try fractal selection and we'll paint near the outer edges with this. Let's go ahead and uninvert our selection. So let's change it to selected area. Now we get this nice fractal selection and if we fill with that, we get this nice pattern. We'll need to hide that overlay so we're not seeing it and deselect the selection edges. I get that really nice cloudy effect. Let's go back to our selection brushes. Let's try grass. Do a little bit of that right here like this. I can use my pen pressure to make it a lot fainter as well. Got a selection like that now. I'll hit delete to delete those pixels. And you can see I can even create artwork using these selection brushes. Let's switch to a different selection brush. Let's say splatter selection. We'll splatter in some here and here. Again, you can use light pressure to do a fainter splatter. That's finer. Or you can use heavier pressure to do a big, thick, broad splatter and everything in between. I'll hit delete to delete that and control D to deselect. And as you can see, you can do quite a bit with these selection brushes.